Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the absolute best custom ROM for your HTC One M9 if you're into rooting your phone. Now, obviously, to install a custom ROM, you need to have a rooted phone, and you have to have a custom recovery right on it, such as TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I do have a video that shows you step by step in crystal clear instructions how to get it done. And I will drop a link below if you want to go and watch it. Now, once you do have a rooted phone, all you have to do is install the custom ROM of your choice right on it. And I do have some videos on how to get that done as well. It is a very easy process. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can go watch that as well. If you already know how to do it, let's dive right in. Um, in this video though, I'm specifically going to share the best custom ROM, the one that I think is the best, the Wiper One ROM. So let's uh, move on to my phone over there and dive into some of the features of the Wiper One ROM that I love. Now before I move on to the phone, I want to talk about one thing. A lot of people install custom ROMs because they're looking for speed, uh, they're looking for efficiency, they're looking for improved battery, they're looking for the lack of bloatware, and they're looking so for some uh, visual tweaks, uh, which custom ROMs off, you know, they give you speed and efficiency and all that beautiful stuff. But in the case of Wiper 1, it's going to be all about customization. You still get all the good stuff that I just mentioned. On top of that, there is such a depth of customization possible in the Wiper 1 ROM that I simply had to talk about it. So let's dive right in. Okay, so when I first installed the Viper 1 ROM, uh, the first thing I noticed was this thing at the bottom here, and it kind of got on my nerves because normally we'd expect to have uh, the home button, the back button, and the multitasking button, but in this case, I have a settings button that doesn't help me in any way. And uh, how do I go back on the screen? So that's when I accidentally swiped over, just like that, and I realized that Viper 1 is more complicated than it looks. So here's the home button, right? So that's the first thing I want to show you guys. You can customize this uh, navigation area at the bottom to fit your needs exactly as you want. And as you look at the Viper 1 ROM more and more, you will quickly find out that you can do that with the entire phone. To get yourself started, what you have to do is you have to bring up this navigation area menu. And from here, if you click this settings, it takes you to regular settings, okay? And uh, let's go back real quick. Home. And if you tap the red icon, that's going to send you into the settings for the Viper One ROM customization. And the blue icon just takes you to the Viper One hub. So let's go into the red one over here. And if you do not donate, you get this five second timer before you can go into the settings which is not a big deal. If you don't like it, just donate and then that will be taken away. Uh, but from here, if you swipe over, the first thing you're gonna see is status bar. And let me just show you guys what that means. Now, the top three pertain to the area when you pull it down. This is the area this pertains to. This is the header area, okay? And the status bar is for the status bar on the top here. So basically you can customize everything in here which is the header, and you can customize everything in the status bar area. Now let's start with the header really quick. I just want to show you a couple things here. I'm not going to go into full details, but I will show you a couple things. So pull this down, and on the top, as you can see, I was able to put my channel name, Saki Tech. I got the clock, I got the weather, I got the CPU usage statistics, and a couple other things right over here. So all you have to do is you have to tap header, and from here, you can enable or disable any one of these things on the top. So the carrier label is where I go into settings, settings, tap carrier label, and from here, I can do anything I want. Saki Tech phone. Click OK. Pull this thing down. As you can see on the top, now it says Saki Tech phone. So that's the customization for the header area. Uh, you can change, you can show the carrier icon if you want to. You can change the color of the text, so that can be red if you want. So let's do that really quick. Red. If I pull it down this time, it's going to be red on the header area. So the same thing is applicable to all these options here. So I can take the weather off, the CPU off, the brightness lighter off. And if you look at it now, 
they're all gone. Alrighty. So I do like them, so let's keep them. Weather, CPU, brightness slider, pull it down, looks nice and fancy. Now I really like this one right here, the CPU usage statistics. As you can see, there's eight numbers there because the phone has eight cores. So it shows you how the cores are being used, all eight of them, right in the header area, and it's real time. The next thing is if you go back, you'll notice that we have a left quick pull down and we have a right quick pull down. If I normally do a pull down on the, on the left, it just brings up the header area and it shows me any notifications that I may have. But if I, I can customize that too. So from here I can uh, pick quick settings. If I pull down now, it actually brings the quick settings and I can toggle these on and off. The same settings can be placed at the bottom here in the navigation area. Okay, so that's how customizable Wiper Von ROM is. Uh, let me just disable this. I'm not really a fan of this. So let's pull down a little bit. And from here, you can make all kinds of changes to the status bar on the top. For example, if you tap the status bar theme, you can change each and every icon. You can go and you can download other icon packs if you want to. But uh, let me show you some other stuff right here. So I can actually click this. Oops signal. As you can see, all the signal items are now on the left. The Wi-Fi signal, the uh, carrier signal, which I don't have enabled right now, and I can put the battery on the left as well. So you can move stuff around on the, uh, on the status bar as much as you want. Just to show you guys a couple of more options, here's the clock options. If you tap this, you can change the clock style. As you can see, mine looks a little different than usual. So if I tap this, I can hide it. I can put it into the center, okay? So these are the options you have, and you have much more than this, of course. I just want you guys to actually grab this thing and try it out yourself, because it would take forever for me to go over everything. Now, one more thing I personally like is the traffic uh, icon on the status bar. If you scroll down, it says traffic options. You tap it, and you enable this, and this is gonna show you the traffic uh, speed, the download speed, on your phone right now. So if you're downloading data on your phone, you can see it, um, how much bandwidth is being used right on the top, right over here. And of course, you can change the color. So I can tap this, and let's just pick red. Boom, now as you can see, it, it has turned into a red color. So the amount of customization possible in this Viper One ROM is amazing. Now let's move over to the home screen. Again, you've got a whole lot of options. I can't even go to all of these guys. You can change the themes. Now, HTC One M9 has a built-in theme engine for the Sense interface, which on top of that, Wiper One gives you another option to customize uh, your phone with various themes. And then if you scroll down, you'll see all these nice options. You can enable things like infinite scroll, which means when you're on the home screen, you can scroll through the screens endlessly, as opposed to scrolling all the way to the end and you stop at the last home screen. So you can enable that, and you can also enable the old home screen layout. Some of you may remember that, most of you probably don't. Doesn't matter. I do wanna let you know one thing though. Sometimes when you enable an option, it is enabled automatically. But sometimes, this icon on the top comes right here as soon as you wanna enable that, um, that option. So what you have to do is you have to tap that icon and reboot the phone to apply that particular option. In this case, we're not gonna do that. So some options do require you to re so some options do require you to reboot before it can take effect. Let's move on. So you can you have the colors from here, you can change the color of anything. Alrighty. You can change the color of the navigation bar right here. So as you can see, it's blue right now. So if I tap this icon right here, I can make it uh, a lighter blue, which I like more. Okay, so again customization after customization on this thing. Uh, you can scroll over and you can change the, the lock screen. So AOSP lock screen is a very simplistic uh, lock screen all the way back from Jelly Bean and you can include that if you want. Some of the options over here, if you go all the way down, you can make sure that the power button acts as a quick flashlight toggle. So if you tap this, you can either long press to toggle the flashlight or you can hold to enable and release to disable, which I like. So if you hold it, it's gonna enable the flashlight. As long as you hold it, it remains on. When you take it off, it turns off. 
Another thing I want to talk about is OTA updates. Now, it's a real pain in the ass to upgrade custom ROMs uh, because you have to wipe up the old one and reinstall the new one. With this one, you get OTA updates. So that's called over-the-air updates. So anytime there's an update available, the Viper 1 ROM does it for you. So if you go over here to the advanced options, you'll see that you do have the option to OTA updates. And it says here, opens the OTA update setting where you can check for an update. You go in here and you can simply check to see if there's any updates available. And if there is, you simply click a few buttons and you're done. At this time, I'm up to date. So back at the advanced option, you can also go over here. There's some advanced options in regards to CPU and other things. We're going to look at those at a later video, or you can just grab it yourself and take a look at it yourself. Now, finally, though, I want to talk about the navigation here at the bottom here. Like I said, you can scroll through different options. That's the brightness slider. You can change the brightness of the phone. Slide over. You got uh, stop, next track and play and pause all those buttons right here for music controls in case you're listening to music. You got the, the regular standard um, navigation keys, home, multitasking, back. And then you've got search and you can bring down the uh, heather area right over here by tapping that. And you all can also go into the options right from here. Okay, so we're not going to play with those right now. And then of course you've got a quick toggle uh, area here that can be customized as well. So you have a flashlight right here. Okay, you got the Wi-Fi, screen rotation, battery saver, and power off. Alrighty, so that's um, everything that I did want to show you on this guy. I cannot show you everything, otherwise this video would be forever. But uh, if you like what you see so far, this is the ROM you want to use. And remember, the one thing I like about this ROM is all the customization features plus the OTA updates. So you don't have to worry about losing all your data just to reinstall a newer version of the ROM. 